Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this is Sagar. On my way to work the other day, I just pulled over to check out this Skoda Superb Sportline. In case you're wondering, the Superb Sportline is a mid-spec variant that slots below Lauren and Clement. The first thing that instantly grabs your attention are those wheels. They look really bad in photos as they look like just wheel caps on an expensive car. But in person, they look not too bad actually. Another thing I'm not a huge fan of are these fake exhaust tips. I have no idea why anyone would want that. As for the rest of the car, there are gloss black highlights for the grille, fog lamps, mirrors, window frames and boot lid spoiler. They look really good especially with this velvet red metallic paint finish. The black interiors get sporty door sill strips, carbon fiber like trim elements, LED ambient lighting, 8 inch infotainment system with smart link, 8 speakers, sport seats with black alcantara upholstery, 12 way electrically adjustable front seats and chrome pedals. More features include bi xenon headlamps with decorative crystal elements, adaptive front light system, auto dimming external mirrors with memory, panoramic sunroof with bounce back feature, 3 zone climate control, 2 umbrellas, hill hold control, height adjustable 3 point seat belts at front front side and curtain airbags, ABS, ESC, anti-slip regulation, and electronic differential lock. As you might have guessed, there are no mechanical changes. The Superb is powered by a 1.8 liter TSI petrol engine, paired with a 7-speed DSG automatic or a 6-speed manual. The engine's output changes depending on the transmission. There's also a 2-liter turbo diesel engine with an output of 177 HP and 350 Nm of torque compared to a 6-speed DSG automatic. So then let me know what you guys think of the new Skoda Superb Sportline in the comments down below. And also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.